Hey, so, Ed Smith tore off in Scare Hollow. Did you not know that? I knew that. Did you know that? I knew that. Anyways, so, I have been thinking about a different way to do the Atmos FX um, projections. And I noticed you guys are kind of shiny. Let's see if we can... It's a little better not so there we go okay anyways so what i did was i have the inferno the new one with the flames all over it um and i thought you know what the inferno would look cool if one of the ghosts or phantasms from you know from phantasms or ghost, ghostly apparitions or um uh there's several of the ones that have ghosty figures and things like that. Um, I think uh, the, there's a one, the, the the mansion one with the with the family, um, uh, macabre mansion uh, or macabre manor. Yeah, um, even Sam from Trick or Treat, their their uh, Trick or Treat one might look cool with this too. So, but what I thought was I was like, okay, well, we need to be able to put them together. And I thought, okay, well, I know how to do video editing, but not everybody does. So I was like, what else? What an, another way to do it? So then I thought, wait a minute, I have a lot of projectors. So I'll put a projector on top of a projector and then play them both at the same time. So I've already tried it. It works really well. So here's what I use. See? I'm actually just sitting on top of a piece of a, a carpenter square. But I just put them one on top of the other. And I'm going to show you. And then after this, I'm going to go and I'm going to do some video editing. And I'm going to put both of the files together so then you can run them on one projector. So the easy way would be to have two projectors, run them simultaneously, one on top of the other. Um, if you've worried about heat, then make a box and put some foam in between it or some space in between it, make some shelves or whatever, but make it so that you can angle the one shelf around so that you can put the projector screens together, you know, the actual, where, where the actual screen is, so you can get them pretty much lined up. You don't have to be exact, and actually you could probably put the flames lower and put the other projector up a little higher, um, and it would probably still look really cool. So it can extend your use of space um, for whatever you're thinking. So if you have like a big window, this is gonna look really cool because you can put the flames on the bottom of the window or you can have the flames go all the way around the window, and then you can have the ghost or any of the other atmosphere projections, you can have those go in the middle of your window. So I'm gonna turn off the lights and you can see what this looks like. Oh, look at that. That looks so cool. Okay, that's a little bit better. Okay, so <clears throat> the first one I shot of this didn't, didn't look so good. So this is what they both look like on top of each other. You can see that's an inferno around that house. And it's really cool if you use the background video of some of these. Um, so here's the girl floating through. Um, so you can see her. So in my, in this, in the way my camera is looking at this, it's showing the smoke a lot in here. The smoke is not that visible. Um, it definitely, you can definitely see the flame um, a lot more than the smoke. Um, but so you get kind of the idea of that both of these these are two projectors run one on top of the other see so um inferno has re uh, green purple blue and realistic uh and maybe red i don't think red maybe i don't know um but i know there's blue purple green and realistic flame so you could put any of these on there um i found that the um the cyclical one um, will basically do, um, it will come and go. The perpetual will just do, um, over and over and over again, I think. I can't remember which one does which. Anyways, there's actually two files on this. Um, this is the one that's on the bottom, that the flames just go on the bottom. So this would be really cool for if you had a window and you could just do the flames on the bottom of the window and then have the, have the, you know, have the ghost on the middle. I hate that it's picking up all that smoke. Sorry about that. Um, so yeah, so you can see how there's a bunch of flames. You really only see the flames when you're looking at this in real life, just letting you know. <laughs> um, so you can see how she's floating through. So if you were to make this with like realistic flames and then her being blue, cause this, cause the girl one you can only have as being, or the ghostly apparitions is, is, has a blue tint to it. Whereas the flames, you could do the different colors. Phantasms has a green tint to all of the all of the all the illusions, so you could use green on that, or you could use the purple. I think the purple would look really cool, um, as well as the realistic uh, would look really good with that too. Um, 
So see how there's the background in that? I like that. So if you're going to use this, you should use the background for the ghost and then use the flames. Um, the other way I'm going to do it is I'm going to try to put the videos together on one file and I'll see how that works out and I will show that process um, here in a minute. But So this is an easy way to do it with just two projectors, one on top of the other. Um, just be warned that if you have the same exact projectors, uh, you will need to push one to the side while you while you select all the files for the one because it will just do it to both projectors at, at the same time with the same remote um, so it gets kind of confusing as you're running through it um, so either turn one on uh, program that set it to pause and then do the other one um, and do it away from the other one um, so all right I will show you the uh, video editing process now okay so I use uh, Filmora, Wondershare Filmora, um, and so I wanted to kind of show you what you, what, if, if you want to make one of these videos, um, if you want to make it together, um, as one file, which is obviously going to be the easiest way and less projectors, obviously, um, so if you're going to do this on any kind of so Sony Vegas, any of the, um, the, the bigger bigger uh, editing programs, Windows Movie Maker, this will not work. Um, so you're going to have to do Filmora or you're going to have to do Vegas um, or any of the other bigger ones. Um, so what you need to do is you need to put on track, well, you, you, sh you should do a track one should be the, um, uh, well, the bottom track needs to be the atmosphere person, um, you know, whatever the project, uh, whatever the um, decoration is, that is the person. Uh, the ghost, whatever you want to do. Then the top one will be the flames. Um, I have all the different flames on here, and I've got several. Of the, I got the Slender Spectre and the Di Diabolic Debutant. Um, what you need to do for the um, for the for the fire is you have to change the opacity. So you have to go up to video. I know I'm not doing this the right way. I should be doing this as a um, screen video, but I'm not going to do that. Um, so you need to take the opacity down to about 50% on the flame video so make sure you select the flame video before you do it and then on the person video you can leave it as 100 but you got to go over to color and bring up the brightness to like 90 percent so you can see how the flames are 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 bright this is the normal atmosphere look that's pretty dark but if you bring it up here to like 90 percent it really shows up so then we press play So the flames are not actually flames are not as vibrant as it looks on here, um, but it may look better on de depending on your projector too. Um, so you know you've got the different flames here, and then this is the one. Let's see, this is the one with the purple. This is kind of walking through it. It's kind of cool. Um, the purple and the blue look kind of the same, and the blue and the blue look the same. Um, but I do like the green. The green looks cool. And then the inferno. Uh, let's see. Let's do the the, the inferno looks kind of cool with the purple. She's you know you got to make her bright as she's swimming through the flames. That's kind of cool. Oh, then she falls. Ah. Um, let's see what the next one is here. The only problem with the inferno is that there's a big flame in the middle here for a lot of it. So it kind of comes and goes a little bit. See, like right now, it kind of goes away a little bit so you can see the decoration. So that kind of fits really well. So you want to time your flames with the projection too. So like maybe when this goes up and then see how see how she disappeared and the flame went through that. So you kind of want to time your, your things to that. Um, you know, uh, play with it a little bit. Um, and then this is what the real... real flames look like when she's crawling out of the flames there that looks that looks cool and she burns up and then stands up that's cool so um yeah so basically you set the bottom track basically the 90 percent or a 90 brightness and the uh flames to about 50 percent opacity um and that should set you up for whatever you want to create all right, so here is the test, the final test with the projection uh, edited together. I have to figure out which was the play button on this remote. There we go. Uh, 
So this is on this is on a pretty crappy projector, um, but it's a cheap one, so a lot of people have them. It looks pretty vibrant on the screen, so that's good. Oh, I like that. That looks really cool. Oh, there's the there's the green. The green looks really cool on the actual screen. It doesn't look as good on my camera, but I do like it. That looks really cool. So there's the blue. The blue and the blue, I think, just washes it out. It's too much. Animals over there on the side of my yard. Oh, that's the purple. Purple kind of washes out with the blue as well. So there's the realistic. That looks cool. Yeah, so you get the gist, and this looks really good on the projections with it being edited together. So... I think that makes it pretty simple. Um, I'm super orange right now. That's super awesome. Um, you know, so if you have editing programs, um, you can add both of those tracks in there um, and make your own videos for them. Um, you can also use that to make your own videos, your own sets of videos, like I, for the pumpkins and the Halloween moon, I mix the pumpkin jamboree one, two, and the Halloween moon together. And so I run one long sequence instead of it, instead of going through your files and selecting all the ones by pressing all the, you know, the check marks on each file and stuff, just make one long video and then hit repeat. And then, so you can do that in here. You can do that in Windows Movie Maker. You can do that in any video pro, any video editing program. Um, I just use Filmora for everything now. Um, but, um, so you can you can you know mix and match where you want the different files. Uh, you can break them up. You can cut them, um, and that's what I do. Is I grab you know I just I just I just intermix them. I'll do a song from the pumpkins, and then a Halloween moon part, and then a talking part from the pumpkins, and then a couple Halloween moons, and then a couple of pumpkins, things like that, just to just to mix it up. Um, and then it's you know so then when people are watching it, they're not watching the same set of things. Um, that is uh, my how to. Um, if you have any questions. Uh, Go ahead and let me know, and I'll answer best I can. Um, so, yeah, double stack or video edit, and then you can have a Inferno Ghostly Apparitions or Inferno Phantasms or Inferno Sam from Trick or Treat or Inferno Bone Chillers, you know, any of, any of them, really. Um, so just play around with it, see how you like it. Haunt on.